then you must score. Yeah, that's right. They, they know the rules. They know what they're supposed to do. They practiced it many, many times. No reason to make a mental mistake in this situation. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Second and one. Gets it out for the completion. That's a gain of six. Now on first down. Every snap crucial the rest of the way. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense. Good job. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. So they come up with the big touchdown here in the lake going. And now, stage two. They must get the two-point conversion to tie the game. Yeah, they got to get it done. I'll say this. Every team usually has four or five two-point conversion plays ready to go. We'll see which one the offense comes out with. talk about momentum that turns into an eight point trip the touchdown and the two this offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator they're all aggressive so hey well it's not good enough just to get a touchdown they want to get that extra point or two points nice job that time they had to have the two points there to stay in the game Harris is going to make the fair catch this time The Giants come on to the field. The game now is in the hands of this offensive unit with the game tied, Phil. Jim, this is a situation now where you just don't come out here and just try to make it happen. The game is tied. If it doesn't work, you figure, well, let's try to get into overtime. So be careful on these first couple plays and make sure you don't make a big mistake. Larry Donnell has the catch. That's his fifth catch of the day. First down coming up. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Tackle down at the 47. Browns battle tested, warming up on the sidelines. They'll need to get him to the 34 to give him a chance. The Giants come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Quarters formation here for the defense. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Eli Manning able to find Hakeem Nix. The Giants decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Coming to the line at the 45. The Cowboys with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 45. Airing it out. Second down coming up. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. Knocked down as he fires it.
the Giants head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. The Cowboys defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Giants will take the snap from the 45. And they take him down. The Giants have to take their final timeout. That's it. The coach is going to go for it. They'll go for it on fourth down, late stages. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Launches it down the field. The ball is charred out of his hands. So the game is time. You have possession. You have a chance if you want to to fling it down the field one more time, or do you just play it safe for overtime? Well, I think you've got to be very careful. I would play it safe right here, Jim, because an interception, uh, you know, uh, somebody running with the football gets hit, fumbles. You can pick it up, run it for a touchdown, so be safe, go into overtime. And it's incomplete. Had to look to the end zone, but the defense comes up huge on the final play to preserve the victory. The fourth quarter comes to an end, and we will need extra time put on the clock to settle this one. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal, the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. The Giants prepare to return the kickoff. Harris has got a chance to return this one. He's tackled right at the 43. The Giants offense getting ready to start this drive. I'm sure they're having a hard time letting go of what happened last time when they had the football across midfield and field goal range and failed to come away with any points. Look, I like the fact that they went for it on fourth down. What I disagreed with was the play call. It was too, uh, it didn't give the quarterback enough options, and that's why it failed. But you still agree that they should have gone for it? Absolutely. Throws the pass. Two hands on the football and has the catch. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Jennings lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Jennings got it on the handoff. <laughs> Jennings a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Just a quick drop back. Randall's got it on a pass that had some heat. Third catch today so far. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. Two tight ends on the field here. The play clock's running down. Handoff by Manning. And Jennings tackled down at the 32. Well, not many yards to get there on that play, but it doesn't matter what a day and what a job this running back has, has done here. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Manning's going to take it from the gun. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. 
Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. The line of scrimmage, the 32-yard line. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and six. With two hands, he has it. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass, but the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Manning from the shotgun. Scrambling now. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. Second and goal from the two. And it's swatted away. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. The Giants are going to call a timeout. Want to talk about this third down. The football sits at the three. Goal to go from the two. It's a walk-off touchdown beyond belief. Some games are more memorable than others. This one right now is in my top five all time. Yeah, I think I'd put mine up there in the top five too, Jim. To win that way in overtime, there are a lot of happy people down there on the field. Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.
Start improving your team by upgrading your players with the XP they've earned.